Hey everybody, Brandon here from Roost, and in this video, we're gonna talk about some tips and tricks you can use as you're building out your automations in Roost. So let's dive in. The first tip I have is to document your workflows. Anybody working with you and your future self will thank you. So there's two ways of doing this. Number one, you can add descriptions to the individual actions. Number two, you can actually add notes to your workflows now. I'm taking a look at this Hello World automation that you may have built in the getting started section of Roost.help. If I click on this action, I can see that there is an option for a description. So a good practice is to make sure that whatever the action is, you have a description accurately describing what the expected outcome of this particular action is. The second way is to add notes. So what I can do is I can right click, I can click add note, and then I can actually drag this around my actions and describe in the note what is happening here. So this is really great if you want some more detail about what an action or set of actions will do for this particular automation. In your notes, you can obviously add the details, you can add a title and you can do things like edit and markdown. You can edit attributes or you can, of course, delete the note. You'll also see here that there are two tasks that this note is relevant for. And that can, of course, change later if you needed to. If I click on edit attributes, I have some fun things that I can add here, including but not limited to the color. So if you want to have fun with this, like some of the awesome people in our community, you can make these some really fancy colors. The next tip I have is to keep your workflows organized. And one of the primary ways you can do this is with multi-select. So the way to do this is to hold shift on the keyboard and then you can select multiple actions. Now, if you right click, once you've selected, you can duplicate or delete the actions that you've chosen. But in general, this is also great for just moving things around. Going back to the tip about notes, this could also work together. If you want to move a set of actions into one place so you can add a note all around them, you have the ability to do that with both of these options. And the third and final tip for this video is to favorite the actions you use most often to speed up your workflow building. So the way you do this is you come over to your actions and you'll see a star. If you click on the star and then come back to the canvas, you can right click and you will see your favorited actions here. You can also manage your favorite actions at the top and remove from this menu. And that's all I have for this video. I just wanted to show you some really cool tips and tricks that can make your automations a little bit easier. I'll see you guys in the next one.